Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Tea Talk with your girl. Listen, happy Monday. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week. As for me, I am doing so. I'm here at the doctor's office today and I was able to catch a live from Tamar Braxton. So I wanted to share it with you. I also want you to um, always remember when you come to my channel that all things are alleged. And in my opinion, I'm not a reporter or a journalist. So I don't come speaking facts about anything anybody's life, but I do give my opinion. So anyway, um, Tamar um, in this video is going to share um, that it was Candy and Todd that she allegedly got into it with. She's also going to talk a little bit about Queen's Court and um, she's going to let her man say a real brief sentence and then she's going to pull the camera away. But at any rate, um, he is there. So she is with the guy from Queen's Court and um yeah so let me just go ahead and let you listen to it and i will see you in my next video listen don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and share the video help the channel grow thank you so much and listen have a great monday not addressing anybody not taking sides on nothing because i, I really don't care but it doesn't have anything else to do with me okay so Weeks go by, four or five weeks go by, and we all have a concert together. And I'm leaving my dressing room to go to my dancer's dressing room to bring them their new clothes, and I see Candy in the hallway. And I'm like, hey, boo, and I give her a hug, you know, whatever, and she just look at me, and she's like, I ain't fucking with you. And I'm like, what, what? I'm thinking she's kidding. <laughs> like, I'm for real thinking she's kidding. And she's like, I ain't fucking with you. I'm like, what, what happened? She like, oh, well, you said that shit you said with, about Carlos King was foul. And I'm like, oh, shit. I, and I honestly truly forgot about it, right? Um, And I'm like, listen, I didn't mean no harm. You know, I, I wasn't trying to, you know, go against you or nothing like that. It's, you know, I, this is what I just explained to y'all. Like, I just feel like my responsibility is a little bit different. I ain't trying to call nobody publicly a liar when I don't know the whole story. I'm not comfortable with it. And she was like, nah, 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 nah. You said, you said, you said. And I'm like, sis, we, I'm, listen, if I offended you, I am so sorry. Like, you know, like I, I wasn't coming from that. I thought, man, you made up a big brother. You know, I wasn't coming for you. It's nothing like that. I really, truly, humbly apologize. And plus, I sent her a DM and I said, I sent you a DM, you know, when your fans was coming to my page. Um, This was a while ago. And I'm, I was just trying to let you know that, you know, I wasn't trying to be, you know, malicious or nothing like that. Nah, nah, nah. But you said, and you did, and then, and then, and then you doubled down and put it in your story. I said, listen, Kenny, I'm not trying to go there with you. You know, we in the middle of this hallway. And now, now by this time, people swarming around. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is, we ladies, we shouldn't be doing this. We can go in my dressing room. Yeah, 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 before I take it to the next level. Now, everybody know, <laughs> I ain't, you know, I ain't really here for that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm cool and I'm safe, but I do know how to whip ass. And I don't do that because I don't condone violence at all, right? And I'm like, well, take it to, what's the name of the level you want to take it to? Like, what you want to fight? Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You said, you said, he did. He did steal from us. <laughs> right? And I'm like, she is really serious right now. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Like, don't do that. First time for Baltimore, you, we're not going to do that. You know what I mean? And I'm telling her again, it's my fourth time apologizing. I am so sorry. If this offended you, right? I wasn't trying to be malicious towards you. Now I'm saying this again. This is the hallway. I'm saying this again. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, buck king. <laughs> and I'm like, and I get to the point where I'm like, look, dog, this is not a letter housewives. I'm not getting paid to sit up here and argue with you like this. I'm about to go sing everybody on the table. I got, I can't argue with you <laughs> right now. Like I finna do all that. And then, I know I am trying to completely de-escalate the situation. It's giving bobs and <laughs> cackling and cacklings. And like, then Tadina comes up and like, he comes and get her. 
And he says something to her and then he looks at me in my face. Y'all can believe this shit or not. Nigga look at me in my face and go, you know what it is. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> now this is a dude, I don't care. Listen, y'all don't see me grow up on the Braxton's. Y'all don't see me go at it with my sisters. Y'all don't see me, you know, kind of like sporadically go at it with Lonnie. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the truth is, in real life, I'm really a peaceful person. You know what I mean? And I like to have fun and I laugh and play jokes all the time. And so the thing is with me is that me and me and Candy or me and another female can argue all day long. But when it comes to dudes in another woman's face to physically threaten them and harm them, that's when the line is drawn. That's when it's like, oh, it's not about her perception on TV. It's not about, you know, wh what we have known her to be on, on her reality life years ago. Because remember, I ain't been on reality TV for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's okay. I get it. But there's no reason for a man to ever step to a woman. Period. And the fact is, that is what happened. And the other fact is, I wasn't trying to bring nothing up, but, you know, now that I'm on, you know, Peacock and, and Bravo, I went to Andy's show, which is, he's a good friend of mine. We cool. You know what I mean? He asked me about it because one of the fans asked me about it and I wasn't trying to bring it up and I wasn't trying to bring no drama in my way because I am not on that. So it's like, I answered the question. I tried to deflect from it. And here we are. But what I'm not going to stand for is people saying, what did I do for a man to ever step to me? Period. Why are you Nothing. shaking your head? Nothing. You didn't do shit for no man to step to you. That was a coward move. And it shouldn't have happened. And I addressed it with him. And I spoke to him about it. And he immediately apologized. But an apology after the fact is bullshit. Especially when I'm there defenseless. Shouldn't because he wasn't. This is one of those trips where Troy wasn't there. JR wasn't there. Like, I just, I, well, Rob was there. James was there. Um, but this was kind of one of those trips where we just kind of, like, we had, like, back-to-back -back shows. And we just kind of got in and got out. You know what I'm saying? And normally, and I didn't even have security. You know, because really, Global Productions is, like, it's, like, Sam and them is, like, real protective and family-oriented. You know what I'm saying? So, I really don't have a need. I'm not bothered backstage. Like, they's my family and my people. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't have a need to like be extra behind the scene with security and people and all that stuff. Like it wasn't one of those trips. And then of course, I didn't even know I was walking into the lion's den. <laughs> I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But the truth is, I'm just gonna keep it gangster with y'all. I spoke about this shit on Big Brother. Y'all called me the victim. I, she's a victim then. And Tamar always starts stuff. But go back in the clips. They didn't age well. I said what I said, you know. The reason why we had beef in the first place because it was mean as fucked me on tour. I'm very, very similar to how y'all see this SWV stuff panning out. My story, my, and I've said this back thing on Big Brother, pull of receipts. There's very much a lot of egos going on. And I ain't trying to speak about a show that I don't even watch. And the reason, the reason why I can't watch it is because of the whole sister aspect. Like, I, I'm, I go through it. You know, and I went through it publicly with my own sisters. And I don't want to see Tasha and Tamika going through that. I love them. You know what I'm saying? We've all been friends for a very long time. And so I don't want, that's the only reason why I don't watch it. Because it just triggers. You know, I don't, I don't want to see that. But go back and watch them clips. I'm not bullshitting. I don't have to, I don't have to get on a bandwagon or nobody. I was just asked the question because I was on Watch What Happens Live. And that's all. You know, I said what I said that night because I was angry and it really happened. I wish I didn't even post about it on my story. But, you know, being defenseless and you a woman with a man will really send you, it will really send your emotions somewhere that we, we really don't have control over. You know what I'm saying? And I felt defenseless because I was by myself. So you can believe what you want. You got to believe me. I don't really care. This is what happened. I really don't want to speak about it no more. You know, but I don't have a reason to come after nobody and I don't want to fight with nobody but the devil. And that's where I'm staying with it. So that's that. And that's it. And happy birthday to me. Because <laughs> this was my birthday weekend. The only thing I really want to talk about this about.
that J.I. you know, not create, but like, what's the word? <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> what's the word? You get to you get to watch our journey of a love story. And um, yeah, Evelyn's too. And maybe it's just a pimp. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Um, yeah, and I'm really proud of Queen's Court because Queen's Court is drama free. Now y'all gotta understand, like I never never hung out like that with Evelyn or Nivia. And if I wasn't a girl's girl, it would be drama between us. There's no drama between us. It's all love, it's all support. Um Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of hard work, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of hard work for me because, you know, it's it's hard letting your guard down on TV. You know, and I didn't know this man. All I knew is he had a bunch of billboards around town, and they say he was a player from the Himalaya. <laughs> right? I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then every time I go outside, I'm like, oh, you dating Jr. Who I dated him? I'm like, well then. In Atlanta since 2005. Atlanta knows. <laughs> Oh, that's what I will say. Okay, I will say that, and I'm not saying this because he's my man. I'm saying this because I have watched my man, my man, my man, my man behind the scenes. He is the best personal injury lawyer <laughs> and criminal defense lawyer. Period. He plays no games, and he and Leo, he doesn't lose. And he's he takes he doesn't lose in the courtroom. I've seen it. <laughs> so I'm just saying, hey, so <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. You get hit by a truck or car, call JR. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and that's that on that. <laughs> <laughs> so much keep watching queen's court keep watching queen's court um and um stream changed um i'm so happy about the music grateful for life i had an amazing weekend um everybody was there jr norman like all love all fun um and i love y'all and i miss y'all and i will be coming back soon because <clears throat> i think that when um, changed visuals come out. I want to know what y'all think. And maybe I will show y'all what should I do or what should I not do. Um, but have a great day. Um, I, I need to save my voice. We'll, we'll